Wednesday to you and thanks so much for waking up with us on Local 33 News Today. I'm Deidre Wilson. And good Wednesday morning everyone. I'm Chad Savity. We continue to follow developing news covering the aftermath of the officer involved shooting in Baton Rouge. The shooting victim identified as 37 year old Alton Sterling suffered multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and back according to the EBR coroner's office. Protesters gathered on the scene of the shooting last night and into this morning to voice their disapproval with how the the Baton Rouge Police Department and city officials have handled this shooting. Local 33's Tim Sproles, fresh from the scene, joins us now with a recap of what's happened so far. Tim. Good morning, Chad. Um, family and friends and members of the community uh, all have questions this morning. They want to find out why Sterling was shot and killed outside the Triple S uh, food mart. Now, this morning we have a video that reportedly shows yesterday's fatal officer involved shooting that happened right there at the food mart. Now we warn you, this video might be a little disturbing. It all started early Tuesday morning. Police were called to the Triple S Food Mart after an anonymous call said that there was a man outside the convenience store with a gun and he was making threats to people. A spokesman for the Baton Rouge Police uh, said that once officers arrived, there was they were involved in an altercation with the subject. Officials said there was an altercation um, and then one of the officers shot and killed Sterling. People reacted to the shooting throughout the day and even started a memorial for Ster Sterling outside the Triple S. But the anger and confusion of the shooting reached a boiling point overnight when hundreds of protesters took to the street in front of the Triple S. Now most of the people there were for a peaceful protest but others came out to take frustrations over the shooting. Local 33's Lauren McCoy spoke with Representative C. Denise Marcel last night about her reaction to the shooting. I believe the police department need to step up and give a statement to the people and come out and say what's going on. And I've said from the onset, transparency is everything. I asked them to come out and make a statement to calm, where it wouldn't you know, get to this level. However, that has not happened, and there are other videos that are surfacing that's showing another side of what happened, and of course, it's making the people irate. Now, representatives from the Baton Rouge NAACP told Local 33 that them, along with protesters, will be at City Hall later this morning at 8 o'clock, where they plan to ask for the resignation of Mayor Kip Holden and Baton Rouge Police Chief Carl Dabity. We will, of course, continue to bring you coverage of this shooting as information comes in and be sure to check up on the latest developments on our website at brproud.com. And Tim, you were back out there this morning on North Foster Drive at the Triple S convenience store around 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m., prepared to give us a live report from the scene and several protesters approached you and accosted you really. What then happened? Um, it, it got a little hairy. Um, really, there was, there was one main troublemaker. He kind of made the rounds to, to me and the other reporters on the scene. Um, he stole some items from other reporters. He stole my hmm. mic. Um, he eventually gave it back. Um, but just as quickly as all that happened, nine police cars pulled up and pretty much put a stop to the, the whole situation. Baton Rouge police arriving on scene this morning to quiet the chaos just a bit and reports of them kind of moving their way out. but. D, like we saw last mm -hmm. night, protesters just running high on emotion and a lot of, like Tim said, confusion and anger over this officer involved fatal shooting of Walton Sterling. Absolutely, and uh, it probably won't quiet down anytime soon. There is a press conference uh, with Baton Rouge NAACP. More protesters expected at City Hall this morning, and they say that, that they are going to ask for the resignation of Police Chief Carl Dabity and also Mayor Kip Holden. So another round uh, to see what will come after that. Uh, but yeah, like you said, Chad and Tim, it, safety is first. 
And in a situation like this, we've seen it on network news in other cities, and it is just hard to control that crowd. So for the safety of our reporters, for the safety of BRPD officers, and other folks who are out there, and, and people who are just traveling the city. Right. And not only was Tim out there this morning, but you also made your way out there last night, correct? Yes. Uh, I was out there with Lauren McCoy. Uh, we headed out there around 7, stayed through uh, the late shows, kind of reporting on that's when there was hundreds of people hundreds, out there. Hundreds of protesters out there this morning and things began to quiet down into the late hours last night? Yeah, it, it's, um, it cleared out shortly after 11 o'clock. Um, when we came this morning, there was probably only 15, 20 people on site, not very many people at all. Um, but the people that were there were pretty fired up. Let me ask you this. What was the man who approached you all? What was he saying? What was his beef? Um, he was he was pretty much upset that we had come out to film. He felt that we were just filming him to kind of mess with him. Um, he started throwing out threats saying like, uh, you know, what, what would happen if I injured your family and mm -hmm. it, got, mm -hmm. it got a little and was he taken into police custody once BRPD showed up? Absolutely. Uh, BRPD came in, um, took control of the situation. There were eight to nine police cruisers there. Uh, they, uh, they came, they got statements from all of us, and they took the, uh, the man that threatened all of us into custody. Tim, thank you very much. As we continue to follow this officer-involved deadly shooting here in Baton Rouge, of course, making all of the local headlines national headlines as well. We will continue to have the very latest developments as they do become available. All right. Thanks, Tim. We'll be right back with much more Local 33 News today on this Wednesday. Come on back.